Well, ladies and gentlemen, you'll never guess where I am at the moment. I'm currently in Istanbul airport. Now, you might be a little bit confused. Well, I know that Fenerbahce didn't get through. We're not here for that. I'm aware Olympiakos beat them, of course. It was really hard to get direct flights to Athens. So currently we're here making a connecting flight. Flew from Stansted this morning, woke up at like quarter past one, drove to Stansted, got a flight here to Istanbul, and we're flying to Athens a little bit later. There's a severe, severe lack of sleep. So if you think I look a little bit tired, it's because I am. However, I am really, really, really looking forward to this trip obviously it's my first time in Athens first time in Greece as well so I'm absolutely buzzing to get there a little bit later on now of course we lost 4-2 in the opening leg and it was a really really off night for Villa obviously being denied a penalty missing a penalty and all round we were just really really poor and fair play to Olympiakos they battered us and deserved the win 100% go and check out that video as well by the way if you haven't already that goes for you Olympiakos fans I'm sure you'll enjoy that one so go and check that out on the channel so an absolutely monstrous task tomorrow to overturn that defeat in the first leg and actually get through to the final of the Conference League, but we'll talk more about the football tomorrow. But the focus now is to complete our trip to Greece, get ourselves to Athens, get ourselves settled in, get some well-deserved rest, and on to match day tomorrow, up the villa. Big old layover in Istanbul done. Next up, Athens, Greece. Our 16, 17 hour trip. Yeah. Finally in Greece, finally! Finally, man, absolutely exhausted, but finally here, I can't wait. Go on, you villa boys. Well, we've made it to our apartment. It's uh, interesting to say the least. The taxi driver from the airport dropping us off here was uh, very chatty, talking to us about wine, about beer in the local area, that sort of thing. So he was really, really lovely. But he was also saying the area that we've booked this apartment in isn't the nicest part of uh, Athens, which is interesting. So probably this is why this nice apartment is uh, quite cheap. So thank you to, for the taxi drivers for giving us some uh, local information on this place. I'll show you the view. So this is our balcony we're working with, and this is the view. There's John, our taxi driver, John Papadopoulos. What a man. That's his actual name, gave us his uh, business card. And uh, this is what we're working with. I mean, the balcony's decent. This is the view, main road, not too bad at all. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's shady, but um, no, it's it's okay, it does the job. Look, man, this might, might just be our uh, final trip in Europe so it's it's good to sort of see these places they're interesting that's that's definitely one word for them so this is the front door this is the view that we grease is with this is the world's greatest mirror there we are loving it there we are there's a bed there not too bad through this strange archway kitchen kitchen lovely jubbly bedroom one another toilet and then uh, this is where I'll be kipping this evening with the balcony just over there and you see this light as well look how bad it is Yep, that's how good that is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from a very overcast Athens. I think this is the first day in weeks where it's actually not been boiling hot and sunny. I think it's meant to be boiling hot and sunny when we leave Athens as well, so we haven't brought the weather with us. Had a decent night's sleep, a um, well-deserved night's sleep, actually. Very, very tired last night. Went out for a couple of beers as well with a couple of other Villa fans. That was really nice, and then got an early-ish night. I was on with Ali McCoist and Gabby Agbonlahor this morning on the TalkSport breakfast show, just chatting about my thoughts for later. That was good fun. Max, I think you were out last night, out and about. Uh, any hassle, any problems? How was the atmosphere? It was really lovely. I think, well, we had a very long day travelling last night, um, Stansted to Istanbul to Athens, so it was a very, very long day. I had a couple of drinks in Athens last night. All the Greek people have been lovely. The taxi driver was lovely, telling us about where to go, what to drink. It was really, really nice. So we'll go out today, see a few of the sites, and that's what the Conference League's all about. That's what we've loved this season, seeing these brand new places. Um, I know Athens is, is obviously a major European city, but even places that you wouldn't normally go, like we've been to Bosnia this season, Alkmaar this season, places that you wouldn't normally go. So that's what the Conference League's about. Doing that with your mates, that's what it's all about. I try to remain pretty, pretty positive. Um, <laughs> as positive as you can be, being 4-2 down from the first leg. So, plan of action for today. We're going to have a little walk around, see a couple of sites, because kickoff local time is 10pm, so we've got a lot of time today to sort of do what we want. Just a little side note as well, I was probably a little bit harsh on the area last night. I mean, everywhere's a little bit worse in the dark, isn't it? So, do you know what? It's not too bad around here. Please do leave a like on this video if you do go on to enjoy it. Comment your thoughts, whether we go through or not. Comment your thoughts down in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Without further ado, let's get out into Athens. Weird how all the roads we were just walking down didn't look like the nicest in the world. A little bit sketchy like our hotel was. 
Then you sort of turn the corner and you're in this really nice area here. The sort of restaurants overflowing onto the street. Um, this is where we were yesterday having a beer. It's strange how it just changes down the road. Here we are then, and you might be able to see in the background the Acropolis. Now you do have to pay 10 euros to go up there, <laughs> from what I can see. So we're not going to do that today, we're going to do that tomorrow, I think. But it's a, decent, it's a decent backdrop, obviously it's the staple of Athens, isn't it? It's one of the most iconic sites of the Athens sort of skyline. So we will go up there tomorrow, just not today, for 10 euros anyway. But just talking about today though, like, we were working out in the pub just, and we've travelled sort of 10,000 miles following Villa this season. I've done every single game apart from Arsenal at home and Hibs away. And it just kind of feels like it's bubbling down to, to tonight. Now, I know against Chelsea and Brighton, we were really poor. But I just think tonight, hopefully you get the injection of Martinez, potentially Tielemans. But it's all got to go out tonight. You absolutely do everything tonight. I want to see players on the floor at the end of tonight. You've got to go for it, 100%. And how am I feeling for it? Am I confident? I don't know. I really, really don't know how to feel. I'll probably know more once I see that team news, but I'm really, really not sure. I think Villa get that first goal, you get that momentum a little bit, 100%. It might be on. I just think it's that, that lack of clean sheet. I really, really struggle with seeing us keep a clean sheet. Am I confident? I don't think that's the right word. No, but I do feel like we've got that sort of underdog bit about us, especially with the context of the game. So be positive. And if we do do it, it'll be one of the best nights of my life. Believe we can do this. Tell you what, there's definitely enough places for eating and drinking. The beer, very, very decent so far in Greece. This is Mama, it's a little bit heavier than the Mythos we were having earlier. The beer, very, very nice, about five or six euros. Can't complain, food, drink in Greece so far, unbelievable. Well, we're just looking for the pub where the Villa fans are. I think that's, uh, I think that might be a clue, to be fair. <laughs> To Zach, we made sure that Brian didn't we, son? Yeah. Are you confident today? What yes. do you reckon? I'm saying 3 0, and Douglas Louise is going to score a pen today. Oh, are we getting through to the final, We're Zach? Going through to the final. Big up the villa, mate. Up the villa. <laughs> Semi-final, European competition, first time in 42 yeah. years. Can we do it? Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? God, semi-final, first one in 42 years. It feels mad, doesn't it? But it's going to be very, very tough ass. But you've got to, you've still got to have faith. You've still got to have faith we're going to do it. And so um, we've got to be right on it, haven't we? From minute one to minute 90, we've got to be spot on. Real sort of 90, 95% sort of, you know, sort of effort out there, if not 100. So. Depends yeah. on the team a lot as well, doesn't it? Marcel looks it like he's going to play, but Tielemans yeah. as well is missing. Yeah. Rogers going out against Brighton. Yeah. Every week is another injury, but... It's bare bones now, isn't it? Yeah, we're hoping for some good news with the team news uh, later on, but we need to desperately get some players back, don't we? But oh, we've got look, that belief. Look, we we've have, got, we got, have got we that. We can belief. do it. Early goal changes it. Early goal changes it. But we've also got to. We've also just got to be really solid as well in defence, and, that, and that's the main thing, isn't look, it? Look, Jane wants to be on. Jane, what do you reckon? Right, first goal is crucial, and we'll get that within the first ten minutes, and it's going to be game over. It's three 0 Villa. <laughs> no doubt about it, Jane. No doubt about it. <laughs> up the no Villa, doubt Jane. About right. Up the f Villa. <laughs> The original Olympic Stadium from 18 something, the first ever Olympics was in Greece, wasn't it? It was, yeah, um, absolutely. And it was here. How yeah. mad is that? And we've been told to meet here at 6 pm. Kickoff isn't until 10. We're getting coaches or buses to the ground, is that right? Yeah, I think all the coaches are lined up actually as we're speaking. But yeah, ask the meter, yeah. We've got a long time before the game. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I think, between, well, we're going to get to the ground. Ten. Three hours before kickoff. Yeah, so that could be interesting. I might <laughs> take a little snooze in one of the seats or something to be yeah, honest with you. Get yourself a nap. It doesn't yeah. get much better than this though. The no, original yeah, Olympic Stadium in Athens. Yeah. Villa fans everywhere, flags everywhere, quality. And this is what Europe does for you. Yeah, it flies up like really like strange things, doesn't it? Like I can buzz near like a random square and you know, here is like the, the most surreal of it all really, isn't it? Meeting here at the original Olympic Stadium. So yeah, buzzing for it. So much history, so much just yeah, like this could be the last European trip we do. Yeah. It just kind of puts it into perspective. We were working out earlier, weren't we? What have you done? 10,000 miles this season yeah. and it's brought us here. It's just what a season it's been. It's been an incredible season, absolutely incredible season. And yeah, while you know the last few weeks have been a little bit disappointing in terms of you know we slowed down a bit, it's it's important to take a step back and realise it's still been an incredible season. So if the result doesn't go our way tonight then 
you know, it's important to take a step back and just think, you know what, we've done incredibly, the players have done incredibly. There'll be no slagging off on my part sort of thing. And I think, let's hope, let's hope we can do it because this, oh, is, we are gonna do this it. is a massive game, our <laughs> biggest game for years sort of thing. It's an occasion that you want to be in. So let's just give it our all and see where we end up later tonight. Love it. Keep the faith. It's just mad, isn't it? You've got the Olympic Stadium, you've got Villa fans everywhere, you've got flags over there. Villa fans are literally everywhere outside the Olympic Stadium waiting for the buses and here we go this is just absolutely class Villa fans everywhere unbelievable let's get to the ground kind of it boys Plenty of dogs, plenty of riot police, yeah. but um, the journey from the centre and all the coaches was pretty well organised to be fair. It was like a convoy, wasn't it? It was yeah. no issues at all. No, good 15 minute journey, rigorous searches to come in here, but here we are, only the, how many hours? Only the three hours before Yeah, so it's, it's seven o'clock, kickoff is at 10 o'clock. Um, I was getting a bit panicked, we might miss the kickoff if anything. But. <laughs> what do we do now? I mean, I hope they got the, some food in there because I'm a little bit hungry, but um, stadium's okay. I mean, on, on the way in, it got compared to the San Siro, Southampton, Derby, <laughs> Leicester. It's just, it's okay. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it looks okay, to be fair, the ground. Yeah, it looks all right, yeah. It's just your typical bowl, really, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, but so we'll get in there, see what the food offerings is, and uh, see if we can get a drink. Three hours till kickoff. <laughs> That is very horrible. What is that? You're not impressed? Well, it's stone cold for a start. I mean, it looks like a rustler's. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. The stadium looks a little bit like an exotic Southampton. Nothing special. I feel like all European grounds sort of feel the same. It's very similar to ours at Altmar as well. Nothing too special this stadium. There's plenty of Olympiacos fans already in here. Behind the goal, there's loads there. I'm expecting a good atmosphere today. A lot of them have called it hell here. So I'm expecting a good atmosphere. It should be very, very decent. It's unlikely that Villa are going to go through tonight, right? I just want to reflect on the Conference League and how sort of good it's been. Like the trips we've had this season, the miles we've covered, we've already touched on it. It's been unbelievable. And anyone that ever slags off the Conference League, it's nonsense. Doing this with your mates, it's been, it's been unbelievable. Villa being back in Europe for the first time in 14, 15 years, it's been unbelievable. We couldn't have wished it to go any better, to be fair. Winning tonight would be nice, but just overall, it's been amazing. It has. It's been my favourite year following Villa. Uh, forever to be yeah, honest yeah, with you yeah. and so yeah you know what it's the outsiders who, who judge the conference league it's the people that aren't in it you know, why, why would they love it when they're not in it but yeah. ask Villa fans ask West Ham fans ask all these other fans around around the continent how, how much they've enjoyed it as well and it's been incredible all the trips from Holland to Poland to Mostar to, to here for the semi-final in France everything it's been incredible I, I absolutely loved every minute of it and so you know what your club being in Europe you following your club around Europe He's, I think he's like the pinnacle for an English football yeah. supporter. I genuinely believe that. It doesn't get much better, does it? I think the people are slag off. It's just jealousy. Yeah. You want to be going to all these brand new places and seeing all these brand new experiences, brand new cities. That's what it's all about. Just jealousy. Well, exactly. I mean, for years, we've been talking about how we love the, uh, the, the pre-season friendlies. <laughs> so this is like 10 times multiplied. You know, this is absolutely incredible. I, like I say, I've loved every single minute of it. And so, and also it gives other clubs an opportunity in a European competition. You know, not the, not the likes of, you know, your Arsenal, your Chelsea, your Man U, your Man City all the time. It gives other clubs an opportunity in the Conference League. I don't, I don't ever see why it's a negative. Why is it ever a negative to get more teams playing in yeah. Europe? I think it's, I think it's been great, um, and I'm really grateful it was, it, it was created. To be honest with you, because we wouldn't be having experiences like this. It's now time to win it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Put it into action now. Let's go out and get the win.
man, it's going to be so hard, isn't it? Like the team news probably wasn't as good as we hoped. We hoped Telemans might be here, maybe even Rogers, but they're not. That, that bench. bench. The bench is so young. I mean, a bunch of youngsters, two keepers, and we haven't even named a full bench, which says it all. But go on, score. We've got to do it. It's going to go to extra time, though. I think. Oh, again. Well, I think. Yeah, I think we'll win three by normal time. There's a party at half time. There's not much else to celebrate, to be fair. It's such a disappointing half that was. I mean, look, we've created a few half chances. The goalkeeper's only had to make one save at the end of the first half as well. Cash has been okay getting forward. DRB Bailey got to do more. I hope you can hear me, by the way. And they've had one chance. I bet they can't believe their luck, Olympiacos. One chance, and it's been a goal. 5 2. Three goals behind at half time. We've got to celebrate. Because they're fucking shots. What a feeling, what a loss.
so then that's the end of our European journey um, I am devastated I'm a little bit I'm moody this morning I mean it's a shame I think it's it's a little bit easier because I think it was one in the first leg for Olympiacos I don't think there's any doubt about that I think they smashed us in the first leg and it really just set them up I think they were very very defensive last night fair play to them and we always talked about that first goal come on if you're gonna <laughs> they didn't have anything really in that first half apart from that one effort on our goal and it came from one of our attacks and us giving the ball away and our passing was so so poor yesterday even the real basics like having a decent first touch and setting yourself up and getting the ball out your feet with that first touch or setting yourself up on the turn we just didn't do any of that yesterday and we were slack with the ball our passing like I said was really really off so I just want to say credit to Olympiacos fair play to them they they 100% deserved it over the two legs and uh, good luck to them in the final it was a nice moment at the end where all the Villa fans were clapping the Olympiacos fans I know a few people have thrown a hissy fit at that oh why are the Villa fans clapping the Olympiacos fans don't really matter it's a bit of respect the game's already done it's not going to change the outcome of the game is it and the fans were applauding each other as well I thought the Olympiacos fans were really 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 good yesterday especially like even before the game in the warm-up they're really really loud it's just a completely different culture out here in terms of football fans support so absolutely credit to Olympiacos fans and like I said fair play to them good luck in the final and like I said it draws an end to our, our European tour I've absolutely loved doing these videos this year this season we've been all over the place Netherlands France Bosnia um, Poland as well it's just been it's been absolute it's, it's, been, it's been a dream genuinely like I started going home and away in the championship I started doing these videos in the championship and just being here I mean look we're in Athens and I'm creating content with the villa and it wasn't meant to be this year it wasn't but look we'll go again next year whether it's Champions League it's going to be Champions League isn't it so it's going to be it's going to be unbelievable next season we'll, we'll go again thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for the support over the season especially on the European videos it's an absolute dream to create so thank you for watching it really does mean a lot reading all your comments all the support all the likes all the subscribes on YouTube it really does mean a lot so thank you so much for that please do smash a like on this video if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already get involved in the comments let me know what you're thinking top four now let's concentrate on top four Liverpool hopefully we can do it on Monday at Villa Park it's going to be tough relying on Tottenham slipping up potentially um, but let's just get over the line and that will complete an unbelievable, unbelievable season. Let's keep some perspective. Get top four. It's a joke of a season. It's been my favourite following Villa. Unai Emery and this Villa side are an absolute joy to watch all over the country and all over Europe. It's been a fantastic season and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, it's an emotional one during the end on this European season. But thank you so much for watching. Keep the faith. Let's get top four secured. Up the Villa.